This aircraft carrier was sold for a penny, but why? Even though there are tens of thousands of tons of steel and other metals used in these ships, and that's worth a lot of money, the cost of salvaging them is also quite significant. In this case, USS Kitty Hawk was too white to get through the Panama Canal, so instead she had to be transported all the way down to the tip of South America, through the Strait of Magellan, and then back up to Texas, where the shipbreaker was. And since she was not operational, she had to be towed all the way by a tugboat, and that took over four months. In addition, there is lead-based paint, PCBs, and asbestos on these ships, which demand costly remediations. Plus, the scrapping company needs to get clearance for the staff who'll be working on the classified sections of the ship, and that means added costs and complexity. In fact, the shipbreaker in Texas is likely making little to no profit, just in the hopes that the US Navy will send them more profitable projects in the future.